what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Awesome. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time in my What up though? It's your girl in my hair. I'm back with another video. Um, this is going to be from Mercury Retrograde from May 10th to June 3rd from Gemini back into Taurus and back again, okay? Um, this message is going to be for Gemini energy. Um, Mercury rules your energy, the Gemini energy. Um, you can also check out where Mercury is going to retrograde in your chart or where you have Gemini in your chart or any planetary aspects this information will be regarding that placement um thank you so much for tuning in if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome as well don't leave without hitting the like share and subscribe buttons be sure to hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is dropping all right um this is um again for anywhere you have gemini make sure you watch all 12 videos to see how this mercury retrograde can affect you in each house that you have in your chart rather natal or progressive if you're looking for a personal reading you can definitely hit me up through my link tree you can book directly on square or hit me up email or on instagram okay so let's get into your energy gemini um this is your ruling planet mercury is reversing or slowing down its energy um, it's getting the closest it can to earth and then it has to back up okay now for you specifically this is definitely going to affect you more like virgo is definitely going to affect you very heavily so um this is a time where there could be some big misunderstandings issues with you know technology um when it comes to communication that is um there may be some language barriers um, that come up, um, issues with uh, transportation, your own personal vehicle, or, th you know, things just being behind, being late. Um, there's an issue with um, connections, okay? And you could definitely be running into issues with connections yourself. Um, but um, for you, um, this is Mercury running back into your 12th house energy because um, Taurus is 12th house to Gemini so again this could be like you having a situation um, where you're communicating with someone and there's a misunderstanding um, so you have to go and do your own inner work to raise your energy out of a victim mentality and get into one where you're actually supporting yourself and this is something i discussed during the Taurus video as well but for you it's going to kind of feel like the world is kind of crashing in on you or that the world is crashing in on wherever gemini is in your chart but it's to help you um raise your standards a little bit more okay so i am the high priestess of this and i have the power to manifest my desires in divine alignment with my assignment i said that wrong but i'm gonna keep going for the greatest good of all i should all right spirit you know what i mean okay so um what divine messages do we have for gemini energy what divine messages do we have for gemini energy regarding this mercury retrograde taking place right now what divine messages do we have for Gemini energy during this Mercury retrograde? What divine messages do we have for Gemini energy specifically regarding this Mercury retrograde? Partnerships aren't at all as what they seem. Yes, yes, yes. Partnerships aren't what they seem. Divine oneness will answer all your questions that you may have. Okay, we got inspired idea. Ooh, inspired idea. Return to nature. Okay, this is like definitely secluding yourself, getting away from other people for a while. 
and I'm um, just like Aries, you guys, you are supported. Okay, at the bottom we have compassion, unconditional love, definitely 12th house energy. Okay, so let's do some clarifying, shall we? Okay, so you have an idea to get away, go on a retreat, take a vacation. Um, but going somewhere to be alone so you can see how I feel like when you get when you move away from something or someone for a while um, when you take your leave from a situation you go on your own personal hiatus and discover more about yourself being more in tune, more self love more self care, more compassion and unconditional love for yourself you'll see that show up in the world around you a lot of people who you felt may be taking you for granted will start to show how much they care and, and they want to support you because they see that when you withdrew your energy over whatever misunderstanding that had taken place, they saw where they may have went wrong or erred in the situation and they want to come back around. It's up to you, however that relationship goes. But um, with you retreating and taking better care of yourself and not giving into what other people have to say push you in a state of that oneness where you start to see how you know you're no different than a person who you were talking to or dealing with in a situation that kind of caused a, a small rift or miscommunication between you know you and the, the other person like you're you're all no different you have so much similarities that it's easy for you to you know forgive them forgive yourself really for even being involved in a situation um it's not anything good or bad it just is what it is you start to see the higher message of what was taking place and you can share it with that person or not it's up to you but just know that whoever you distance yourself from they're going to realize that they made a mistake in how they handled you okay so we got the six of pentacles inspired idea Okay, return to nature. Nine of Swords, your energy here. You may have some restless nights trying to deal with it. It's because you're out of your own energy. You need to get back into your natural energy. You are supported. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy again. At the bottom, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so you may have offered someone something or somebody chose to share something with you, you, them. It may have to do with money or a gift. Um, it could be related to your birthday that's coming up. <laughs> okay, just saying. All right, but because uh, this retrograde is taking place from Taurus season going into Gemini season. It's going to be um, about a good four weeks of a retrograde station for Mercury, okay? So the inspired idea may have been like you trying to share something with someone that means a lot to you. I feel like you're the king of pentacles. You want you share something with someone that means a lot to you. Okay. And you didn't get back with what you was putting, which where you chose to put out. You didn't get that back. So you decided to break away from that energy in that situation and because it's time for you to go within and figure out why you want to give so much of yourself away to something or someone who doesn't respect you i want to say they don't respect you they may have said something with these dinosaurs they may have said something to you that really just wrote like made like drove you up a wall and you really couldn't believe that that person said that to you it kind of makes you want to end the whole situation or the relationship altogether. But just know um, you're being supported through this shift. Okay. This Queen of Wands is going to support you. Because there's three people in this picture and it's you and then this person right here. Because you're the King of Pentacles. Somebody said something to you that you did not like and it made you question your worth. And the Queen of Wands is going to show you why you don't ever need to question your worth. They're going to help rectify the situation for you. Okay. Like someone 
probably said that they were going to do something or help you or give you something and then they chose to take it away from you which caused you to psychologically like wonder like what did i do to deserve this what did i how why like like something got taken back or taken away something was reneged on but i mean obviously it had to happen for a reason and it's because to put you in check that you're 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 in the, the wrong vibration you need to tighten up okay and that just means more compassion and more unconditional love for yourself so that you can give it to the situation six of pentacles okay we got the knight of disc capricorn energy so it's one in the deck all right so the situation has been building for a while it's something you've been wanting to work on but you haven't had the ability to do it just yet you're ready you're ready return to nature okay i got the queen of cups and the four of cups okay so it may be a maternal energy with all this water here with the return to nature queen and the four of cups you may you may want to be with someone or you may feel like you need to be nurtured right now but you have to stand on your own two feet right now no one is coming to save you you have to remember that you have to save yourself or maybe you have to share this with someone or children you're supported queen of wands okay so we got the tower the seven of wands and the ten of wands yeah yeah this Queen of Wands is going to show you how to do it. And you got the Five of Cups at the bottom. Disappointment. Yeah, you trusted someone. And they showed you that they can't be trusted. So now you're very emotional, longing for some type of resolution. But you can only find it within. It's not going to come from someone else. It's going to come from within. It could be, um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, with this Queen of Cups and this Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. Someone made a promise to you that they didn't keep. And the, um, the compassion and unconditional love in the situation coming from this Queen of Swords Energy is that even though there was an unexpected shock that may have hit you, um what you may feel like you lost was actually done for your protection okay it may be hard to see that but that's why you got to go within you got to go within and release whatever burden that you've carried in the situation expecting someone to do something that you could probably do for yourself have your moment to breathe definitely um, but don't overanalyze it. Don't be quick to um, cut somebody out either. Mercury retrograde, you're going to have to go back on that. Your way is going to be reviewed. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what I'm seeing here with this King of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, I feel like the King of Pentacles is you. You have an inspired idea or someone has an inspired idea and you wanted to go along with it. You wanted to support them and you were ready to do whatever it took to let the situation progress but um that wasn't the right situation for you and you may have been very emotionally involved in this working out but spirit is here letting you know that you're still supported in whatever inspired idea you have you just can't go that way that's not the way for you with this tower seven of wands and ten of wands it was like no nah, there's something better for you you need to drop that. Whatever it was you was trying to do with someone else, drop that. Drop that shit. Okay, Akon, drop that. Down to the flow, okay? All right. Your disappointment won't be long-lived, okay? It's up to you how long you choose to live in the energy of disappointment before you raise your vibration back up again, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this message finds you well. And until we meet again.